Hmm. What do we have here? <laughs> well, I'll be damned. I seem to be repairing a Thor-class Hades mech. Sheesh, you are one big son of a gun. Well, best not waste any time. No wonder your client was shelling out top dollar to make sure you stay repaired. Making another one of you is probably more expensive. And let me tell you, that is often not the case. Mm -hmm. All right. Let me assess the damage to your chassis first. All right, it seems that you took a laser blast to the right arm. And an explosion blasted open your chest. Thankfully, it doesn't look like it harmed anything inside, but... Yeah, it's still gonna leave you vulnerable. Some of your wiring looks like it's on the fritz too, but don't worry, we'll have that fixed in a jiffy. And... Looks like you're having trouble staying functioning. Something might have shook up your AI core, but don't worry. You're still active, which means that it's an easy fix. If it was something worse, your AI core would have shut itself down in case of emergency so that it can be transplanted into a different functioning chassis. <clears throat> I ain't worked with a Hades mech yet, but I have worked with mechs before, so this shouldn't be anything too alien to me. There, right. Now first I'm gonna put on some gloves so I don't shock myself to death and I'm gonna line your wiring back up and use some wiring tape to get it back under control. There we go. Should be straight now. Now we're going to weld the new metal on top of this and screw it in. Make sure this is covered again. <laughs> well, according to your client, you followed your directives as desired. Yeah, even more than desired. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, not a lot of AI is allowed to, uh, Expand beyond their perimeters. You must be uh, experimental. But I'm sure they're glad they let you. Your uh, client told me that you saved a lot of lives. <laughs> Apparently you're supposed to keep yourself safe so that in the event of defeat or anything like that, your AI core can be retrieved and they can probe it for analysis data, but you attempting to sacrifice yourself saved over 20 soldiers. <laughs> oh yeah, and you still live to tell the tale, so good on you. What exactly prompted that, if I, may I ask? Your partner was in trouble. And I'm assuming this partner was a sentient blood and flesh sort of fellow. <laughs> well, damn. That is quite the, uh, the feat. 
usually AI, they're more cold and calculating even when they are restricted by their parameters. Maybe we should have more like you. All right. Now I'm going to uh, weld your chest in. Don't worry. Yeah, there we go. This metal right here should be able to keep you protected more properly. It doesn't blast open so easily. Oh yeah, it's been tested. People put C4 on it and tried to blow it to hell. And, well, it took quite a few tries before that happened, so... So long as you aren't just totally eating rocket fire or something like that, you'll be fine. Mostly. There we go. Alright. Now for your AI core. Now, things might get a little fuzzy for a second, but don't worry, I'm just going to assess the problem and so we'll just see how things go. But if you do think something is genuinely wrong, let me know. These things just sometimes happen with their, with your cores. see the issue. The explosion slightly misaligned your core. Some of the wiring got let loose and now your programming is just being fed all the wrong information. Don't worry. I'll just have to pull it honest, I was never a big fan of AI. I actually jumped into this business for a ship repair at first. But after the war, seeing everything that happened, well, <laughs> I figured that pitching into AI wouldn't be so bad after all. I mean, they saved our skin from the look of it. Yeah. I never was too outwardly angry, it's just, you know, a, a new field for us humans. Ah, but you're looking good as new. Now that should be all. Now you should just rest there a moment and we'll ensure in a bit that all your joints are moving as intended and that uh, we can calibrate your system so that you're back on your feet again. Yeah, we just need to make sure that your weapons function as intended and that your limbs are moving in all the directions that they can. <laughs> Sounds funny, but sometimes they, they can get stuck. It's kind of like when a, a bone is misaligned and you don't even know it. Because at least for us, that hurts like a bee sting out of hell. For you though, well, you'll only find out when it happens. But otherwise, you are looking fine as ever. Alright. I gotta go write up some papers and let your client know that you're working fine, at least for now. And I'll come back later and make sure that everything's working as intended. But hey, you did good out there, and you saved lives. Thank you kindly. <laughs> Alrighty. <sighs> Call for me if you need anything. Hey everyone, thank you for listening. I hope you guys enjoyed this audio, and if you did, feel free to leave a like, comment, subscribe, everything helps. 
uh, I wanted to kind of make a more sci-fi oriented audio and uh, I also wanted to play with more sound effects and go much more in depth on like creating more ambiance and you know more complex scenes again and uh, it was a lot of fun testing this out so yeah that's pretty much it for now i'd like to uh, again thank you for making it to the end and i want to give a special thanks to the following patrons on the diplomat and higher tier len girl kitty 243 sammy sam r alicia mystic chan clarabel pagan ailswith tell maria mg deborah bossard silver hawk eg christopher stevens christy hall wendy wayne miss effie patrice gilton Helios Flame, K, Inspector Lemon, Mia Khan, GD, Haley Fries, Wannabe Bunny Girl, Safadil, Ravioli Senpai, Outer, Freaky Flatwoods, Ray Brightscales, Roses in Blue, Mermaid Aurora, Manda, Rem014, Jenga Power, Elaine Schroeder, Mel Beam, Angel, Posey Rosie, Inaga Rose, Sydney Scott, High on Me 15, Sarah Newman, Crywolf883, and Radio Cassidy. Again, those are all my patrons on the Diplomat and Tire tiers, and if you want to join them, link to the Patreons in the description below. Anyways, that's all for now. Again, thank you for listening, and I will catch you guys next time. Peace.